Speaking of the shallow end of the pool, oh my God, have you seen that Britney Spears has got a book out and it's, it's all about how terrible her life is? I actually have a lot of thoughts on this book. Please. I mean, you're a parent. I am a parent. And this is yet another piece of confirmation that we should never, never let our children go into the entertainment industry. Thank God my children are not artistic or inclined in that way at all. They have zero talents <laughs> in that field. <laughs> You've, I could see your thought process there. You were going to say, they're not talented. Oh, hang on, if I do that, that's really mean. No bugger it, I'll say it. They don't have they're the acting chops. They're smart, but they're not going to be singers <laughs> or rock stars. Trust me. Okay. Um, Britney Spears, uh, it, it's like, oh, you should read this and give it to your child if she says she wants to go become a Hollywood star. Because what she reveals, I just wrote down a couple of notes on it. So she's been on uh, Prozac, lithium, Adderall, which she used as a recreational drug, apparently. She talks about being infantilized, severe depression. She had an abortion at age 19 that she did not want. At age 14, she was drinking and having sex already, uh, incredibly stressed, wound up in, in a conservatorship, it sounds like an abusive relationship with her father, grew up in a not healthy household. And some people think the answer to that kind of an upbringing is Hollywood. <laughs> it's not. And so this poor girl, I mean, unless something massive happens to her, Paul, I worry very much that she's going to wind up like Anna Nicole Smith. And she's going to be another one of these women that we've seen sort of rise to meteoric heights and then co completely crash and burn because there was never a foundation of wellness there was never a foundation of wellness there. That is the number one thing we as parents need to be giving our kids. Not this dad whose main goal in life, according to her book, was to make Britney a star. She talks about how she couldn't get his love unless she put points on the board as a star, as a singer, at the Mickey Mouse Club. She had to make it because he needed his bills paid. Can you imagine? So she didn't have a healthy foundation. And like so many, I think she thought she might find some solace or at least some parental approval if she became a star or a millionaire or Justin Timberlake's girlfriend, what have you. Of course, none of those things proved heartening to her in any way. This It's very simple. If you wanna be a good parent, if you wanna raise a child who doesn't wind up like poor Brittany, you should spend time with them. You should have dinner with them at least five nights a week, preferably more. You should not root for them to be the most popular kid in class. You should root for them to be slightly under the radar. You don't want them to peak in high school and doing so requires some sort of att attraction generally to drugs, to alcohol, to sex at a young age, to petty behavior that you don't want your kid involved in. And you need to let your kid try and fail at a young age and then support them and show them that the love is unconditional and not based on them being a success at the Mickey Mouse Club or on the stage or in Hollywood. This family did it all wrong. And I read this thing as a red flag warning for any parent even considering getting near that industry. I love that so often we end up talking about the, the, the spectacular failure of parents. And I can't help but say it, and I hope you don't mind me saying it, but your kids are so lucky to have you as a mum. And it's an example to everyone about the type of parent that you have to be. You have to be a lion for your kids. You have to give them the tools to cope with the world. But if you can protect them from the worst of the world, that's our job. It's not our job to turn around and, and uh, grift off them. And even if there's this extraordinary moment where this kid sort of hits it as a teenager or early 20s, they've got enough money for the rest of their life. You don't have to keep parading them and pushing them, um, which is one of the many failures of, of the Britney Spears life and, and the conservatorship too, where basically she was put in this scenario where she just was a meat puppet for the dad to keep making millions off her as if he hadn't already made enough. Yeah, and then you have people like, I mean, now I know she meant this as a nice story, but who swooped in to try to help her when she was struggling, according to her book? Madonna. Now, it was a kind gesture for Madonna to swoop in and try to give this young starlet, you know, this young singer like Madonna, um, some advice. But what did she do? She tried to force the Kabbalah on her, <laughs> her weird, like, obsessions. I, it sounds like it was a very strange discussion about her soul and I, I, whatever. It didn't work. So the problem is Madonna, she sings some cute songs. And every once in a while, if you want to dance, you might put one on. But this is not a person I would look to for spiritual or values guidance. But Brittany had nobody else. She she had parents who were trying to mooch off of her, get rich off of her. And when she was tired, when she was sick, when she didn't feel well, when she was depressed, 
all the dad in particular did was push her to do more, more, more. He wanted money. I mean, there's just no way that ends in a good outcome. And maybe, you know, if you're thinking about your kid as any sort of a do-over for your life or as somebody who's going to help you in your life, think again. That's not what they're here for. We are here entirely to help them, not the other way around. Bloody oath.